All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you guys another video. So here today, Byron Reboot Daedalus Wallet is finally out, very excited. I'm gonna be showing you how to download the wallet and some different features to look out for with this new version. So if you guys are interested in that type of content, be sure to stay tuned. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in today. Today is April 23rd of 2020. So very exciting news from the IOHK team. We've got the new Byron Reboot version of Daedalus finally available to download. So here today, we're gonna be looking at the process of being able to download the wallet and some key things to look out for uh, as far as you know what you wanna pay attention to going forward. So to get things started, uh, this is going to be the Daedalus Wallet website. This is going to be where you can go to download the wallet directly. Now, if you've got the current version of Daedalus, you can actually click on that icon and it's going to prompt you with the link to be able to download it directly. So in the instance that you do go to the website, I'm going to leave a link for you down in the description below. You can click on here where it says download. And this is going to allow you to choose your preferred operating system. So in the instance that you're running on Windows, Mac, Linux, go ahead and choose whichever operating system that you're running on. Today, here we're going to be using a Mac. So I'm going to download Daedalus. And it's going to prompt us here, do we want to download it? And then this process is going to take some time. Uh, it is quite a big application. One thing that I found very interesting, I did actually go through the process of downloading this on one of my other computers. I like how fast the blockchain uh, is able to sync. Also, we noticed that the wallet actually allows you to open up the wallet and it'll actually download the blockchain in the background. So uh, very noticeable improvements there. Um, and we're gonna take a look at that here in this video. So now after the installer has downloaded, you just wanna click on it. That way you can go ahead and install the application. Okay, and then it's gonna prompt you to do so. And let's go ahead and follow the prompts here. Now guys, what we can see here, so at the bottom, uh, as far as the applications go, so we can see the three different icons that we're looking at here. Now you've got their standard Daedalus, that's this blue icon here. And then you've got the Daedalus mainnet. So what we're gonna click on is Daedalus mainnet. This is gonna be the Byrit reboot version. And then once you click on the application, you can go ahead and choose these options here. In this case, go ahead and choose the language, the number format, date format, very similar to all the other Daedalus wallet applications. You wanna go ahead and look through the terms of conditions, click on continue. And then it's automatically going to identify which wallets that you uh, have with your Daedalus application. In the instance that you do have a Daedalus wallet that you would like to go ahead and transfer over. You just wanna click on this checkbox here. That will allow you to go ahead and import it. So you just click on import selected wallets. I've already done this in my instance, so I'm gonna skip that for now, just for the sake of this video tutorial. And then from there, in the instance that you don't have a wallet to restore, you can actually go ahead and create a new wallet from here as well. Um, essentially, that is going to be it for being able to migrate over your Daedalus wallet from the Byron era over to the Byron reboot. Now in this instance here, so we can see that the wallet is currently synchronizing. This is actually downloading the blockchain because the Daedalus wallet is actually a full node that's running on your computer. So it is gonna take a little bit of time to download the entire blockchain, but that is essentially it. Uh, that will allow you to transfer over your existing wallets over to the new Byron reboot Daedalus version. Right, you guys, so I went ahead and entered in my wallet recovery phrase. So I just wanted to show you what exactly it's gonna look like under the hood after you've gone through and done that process. So after you click on the prompts, you know, just follow the prompts there to go ahead and restore whichever wallet uh, that have uh, balances available to restore. And then after you've gone through that process, it's gonna look very similar like the previous version of Daedalus. So you're gonna see the UI is uh, pretty much the same, you know, you've got your wallets listed here at the top left, and then you've got your summary, send, receive. All of that is gonna be very similar to the previous version. Now, one thing to make a note of is that 
The wallet, the Daedalus wallet is gonna be going through a lot of updates going through here until the process of launching Shelly on the mainnet. So now, depending on when you're watching this video, I just wanna make sure you guys get the most relevant and up-to-date information. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that way, as soon as you get the notification of a new video, you know exactly when the latest update has taken place. I'm gonna be doing my best to keep you guys updated with all of this. So now, what we're looking at here, we can see that the balance and transaction history of the wallet is synchronizing with the blockchain. So we're pretty much all set at this point. Uh, once the uh, wallet has synchronized with the blockchain, you're good to go. You're gonna be able to start using the wallet just like how you would with the previous version. Now, I wanted to go back to the Daedalus wallet website. So quick note, this is gonna be where you can download now we have the uh, Byron Reboot version of Daedalus, but this is also where you can download Daedalus Flight. So if you are a Daedalus user, if you're comfortable with the user interface, be sure to download Daedalus Flight. This is gonna allow you to help test all the different features and you know new implementations that they're gonna be rolling out. As we go through the process here of moving over to Shelly on mainnet, the developers are gonna first test on Daedalus Flight and then migrate over to mainnet wallet. Now, one thing to keep in mind with Daedalus Flight, it is gonna be using mainnet ADA. So you are still using live funds. So it is recommended for people who are more proficient with the wallet, but it's a great way to be involved and help test certain features. So I just wanted to make a note of that. And the process is the same. You just wanna click on your respective operating system and you'll be able to download that as well. Now, let's say for instance, there is something that you had a question about uh, please be sure to reach out to me. I'm going to be doing my best to keep you guys updated and informed. If you do have any questions regarding the wallet or if you need help, there is actually a support tab as well at the DaedalusWallet.io website. If you click on this tab here where it says Get Support, you're going to get redirected to IOHK Zendesk. This is going to be where you can see a whole bunch of FAQs. You'll be able to log a support ticket if you do have any questions or if you need help from somebody from IOHK directly. Be sure to go ahead and check this out if you do need any further information. And again, guys, I really want to keep you guys informed and up to date. I do hope you're finding value from these videos. Let me know any comments that you have down in the comments section below. And if you guys did find some value from today's video, be sure to drop a like for me on your way out. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.